People often ask me what my favorite animal is to hunt, and I often tell them I really don't have a favorite. There's so many, uh, so many options in the world. There's such a diverse number of species and types of species to hunt. Um, there's everything from hunting whitetails in fields and out of a tree stand to hunting these sheep up in Alaska. Um, to stags in New Zealand and tar in New Zealand. There, there's a wide variety of things to hunt. And I think that's what I enjoy about hunting so much is that every experience is different. But that being said, there are few experiences that compare to sheep hunting and specifically in my mind, sheep hunting in Alaska. There is nothing quite like the journey that you go on on one of these sheep hunts. Uh, this particular journey it was took place in 2012, and this is me and my friend Connor Holler in of Rampage, Alaska, hunting uh, outside of Fairbanks. And between the flights and the bush plains and the horses and the hiking, you go on this epic journey looking for this animal, and you find that it becomes very little about the sheep itself, but about the experience and the journey to the sheep. The experience and the journey to the sheep and that's what makes hunting sheep uh, really in my mind probably one of the top creatures to pursue on this planet and specifically sheep in Alaska. So I like all kinds of hunting but sheep are definitely at the top of the list and I truly hope that you enjoy this hunt as it is one of my very favorite hunts I have ever been on and the journey on this hunt did not disappoint. We spent the majority of the first day riding up into what Connor calls Camp Ramalot, and it didn't take long once we got set up to spot a good band of rams, and we started watching them. Got some sheep up here, Fog's just cleaning this knob. There's like a pretty decent ram up in there with them. Well, do you want your first day to be your last day of sheep hunting, Justin? Is that one pretty dang good or what? Well... Can I take... Be better when the dog... They look pretty good. We were having a hard time picking these sheep out in the fog, but it held off just long enough that we could see there was a good potential shooter ram in the bunch, and we made up a game plan to close the distance. These sheep are about 1,200 yards. We're going to go down across this draw over to this knob here, which is about 850 yards from us. we got to go all the way down there first, though, and back up. No big deal. We're trying the bold strategy. We're walking right in on them.
just waiting this sheep out. This ram at 690 yards, bedded in the rocks. I'm going to dial for 675. I absolutely love getting in a position like this where you're within range, you're ready to shoot, and you just get to take some time and enjoy watching the animals uh, work around and feed. And then we spent some time studying this sheep uh, because in Alaska you have to have a ram that's either full curl or eight years old or broomed off. Um, and this guy, he wasn't broomed off and he was super wide and the angle we're looking up at him it's hard to tell whether he is a full curl or not so we had to count the annuli which are the age rings and he needed to have eight annuli to make him a legal ram so we spent some good time watching him feed around and interact with the other rams before deciding to take him after we confirmed that he was a legal ram Shoot with that sun on it. Shoot while the sun's still on it. Alright, go ahead and dump them, Justin. <clears throat> yards exactly. Uh, you're shooting a little bit to the right. Did I hit him? Yes, you did. Correct. Just hold to the hold on his neck a little bit. On his neck a little, huh? Yep, pull a little bit to the left. <laughs> Done. Good job, Justin. Oh, man. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, <Scott. sighs> Man, watching that vapor trail is pretty uh, cool. Was it? <laughs> I could see the vapor trail before the bullet ever got there. You know what the best thing about this is? We could ride the horses right to them. Look at the size of my backpack as opposed to yours. I know. I thought about that already when we were coming up the hill. No, we'll bring the horses up to them. Man, what a nice flare. Oh, man. Just killed my first doll sheep. 300 Ultra. The Annihilator, that's what we call her. Did the job again. 700 yards.
10 year old? Yeah. Man. Dude, what a sheet that is. <sighs> Dude, we gotta get some pictures. This one's gonna be a hot looker. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful flare on that sheet. That is awesome. Yeah. All right. Up here again with Connor Hollerin. We killed a nice bear with him this spring and came back up for a doll sheep. And I can say I'm honestly not disappointed. This thing is phenomenal. I told Connor exactly what I wanted. I wanted a nice wide sheep, good flare with the lamb tips still on there, nice and pointy. And it's exactly what we found. Thanks, Connor. You're very welcome. Appreciate it. It was awesome. This is the first day of the hunt. We've seen, uh, we flew in yesterday and rode the horses up, saw some decent rams, nothing that was worth shooting. Uh, saw a grizzly, had a little action with the horses last night, but other than that, pretty uneventful. But we came up in this awesome valley here, as you can see some, from some of the footage riding in. And I don't know, is this a pretty typical ram for you up here? No, it's not. No? That's, uh, that's got it's an exceptional flair to it. But you just killed a 38 incher, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, as far as horn length, yes. The f the flare off the base of the head, not yeah. so much. Yeah, Connor just tagged out two guys just before me, and he's got some more sheep hunters coming in. So he's definitely a first-rate outfit. I mean, the food's awesome. The facilities are awesome. Well, tents and cook shack and everything. Sure. No outhouse. <laughs> no outhouse. <laughs> But the scenery is unmatched, and the quality of the animals, I'd say, is exceptional. We see lots of animals whenever we're up here. And uh, I'd say if you don't kill something, it's your own fault, because Connor will do his best to get you on it. So, a real straight shooter. And I could not be more happy with this ram. Yeah. I'm going to do a full mount on it. I was just going to do a shoulder, but we got up here, and I don't know. You don't know how many rams you're going to kill in your life, and I think this is one that... Uh, would look good on the wall. So. That's an exceptional ram, Justin. Thanks again, Connor. You're very welcome. Thank you. Your pleasure to hunt with. Thanks. You know, growing up, I always heard men talk about one day they would go to Alaska or someday that they would love to be up there. And I, I still know many of those same men and the one day and the someday has not come along. And if I could encourage anyone watching this today, if, if you've been saying one day, if you've been saying someday, I would encourage you to set a goal and start working towards it. There, there is an amazing playground and an amazing journey and an amazing experience waiting for you in Alaska. And if it's in your power at all, I would encourage you to take that one day and that someday and put a day on it and start working towards it every day. Start working towards it every day because you won't regret it. Because unless you do, you're gonna be the one day and the someday when you're 60 and 70 and 80 years old and you will never see that day. You will never experience that day when you were on top of the mountain looking around at God's beautiful creation. And that is a sight that you do not wanna miss. Thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. For more action and to stay up to date on everything that's happening at Limitless Outdoors, please click the icon on your screen to subscribe. Also, if you want more information on hunts like this, uh, please visit my friend Connor Holleran's website, akrampage.com. God bless you and have a great day.